going on, Jerome. So, of course, we know that Jay, Jay McCarthy is uh, the future franchise of the Vikings, number 10 overall pick, highest drafted quarterback in team history, has all the traits, has all the skill set, and, of course, Kevin O'Connell just, like, loves him. Right, uh, But uh, not so fast, my friends. This season, slinging Sam Darnold, a.k.a. America's quarterback, has looked really, really damn good. Uh, September NFC Offensive Player of the Month, completing 69% of his passes. Nice. 11 touchdowns, 118.9 quarterback rating, which is... Which is good. So he's tearing the cover off the ball early and often. Had lots of chemistry going on. I chimed in. Haven't you people ever heard of uh, coming back from being a bust because, oh, the Jets just ruined quarterbacks. And same thing with the Carolina Panthers. Oh, is that bad that the Panthers had Baker and Darnold on the team at the same time? <laughs> That's funny. But uh, Darnold has absolutely been cooking. And, oh, everyone's buying in. Burn the boats. All that stuff. And you're thinking, okay, Sam Tember, Sam Tober, Sam Vember, Sam Sember, Samuary, February Sammy. Something like that, right? But then, you know, Jets game happened and he was very pedestrian. Although he did sack up and put together a, a game cinching field goal drive. I'm not saying, I'm just saying, right? Uh, and even though that I feel like we, we've almost gotten spoiled from success where Sam Darnold has massively outperformed any expectations that anyone, even the, the most rose-colored Vikings fan, uh, had for him. Uh, but now he had one bad game, and everyone's like, boo, boo, boo. All right, uh, not, not taking into the factors. Okay, Jets have one of the best defenses in the league. Also, they're holding every single play. Also, Aaron Jones got hurt. Also, in a foreign country in the rain. Other than that, yeah. So, yeah, a lot of things went in. But overall, how can you not be happy with the way that Sam Darnold's been, been pitching the pill? Uh, last couple of weeks. I mean, he will be back. And I, I think that he will firmly be back in the MVP discussion because of a, a, a b bunch of reasons. Number one, experience in the offense. Like, he's literally played five games with, with the Vikings. Uh, that that uh, experience is going to grow and show. And also, the early buy. Frankly, I think the early buy might be good for him because, yeah, I mean, did things sort of uh, take a, a bit of a dive in the second half against the Packers as well as the Jets? Sure, but now you know, they can work on things, and I'm sure that you know, slinging Sam Darnold outside of you know taking his USC team nah, 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 uh, out of the tunnel against Penn State, then the Penn State won. <laughs> uh, I'm sure he's been in the lab with a pen and a pad trying to get this damn label off. It's what he's been doing. Number three, schedule opens up. So, you never just want to be like, that's a win, dog. That's a loss, even though we we do that all the time. But the Vikings have faced some hellacious defenses thus far throughout the schedule. What's up, Sylvie? All right, so the Niners and the Texans, both top five in DVOA. Giants pass rush is legit. Uh, Packers defense is coming around, as well as the Jets. I mean, the Jets are 12th in defensive DVOA. I don't buy that. I don't buy that at all. They're a top five, top flight unit. Robert Salah shouldn't have been fired, but... It is what it is, right? Uh, but now l looking at the, the rest of the schedule. So the Lions defense, so Lions defense are fourth in DVOA. You have to factor in Hutchinson, and it's really unfortunate. Hopefully he heals up and is good to go uh, for the rest of his career. But you're losing like their most talented defensive player. Like that's going to be an issue. And also their secondary, outside of Branch, l like who are you really scared of outside of Dirty Kirby Joseph during dirty doing dirty things, right? So. You can move the ball on the Lions. The, the Cowboys didn't because the Cowboys are ass. Go look at the Seahawks game. Yeah. 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 That's right, Sylvie. And then you look at the Rams, the Colts, the Jaguars, uh, Cardinals, Falcons, Seahawks, even, uh, who are decimated by injuries, and the Packers again. And, I mean, there, there's some pretty – again, every single game is tough, but there's some pretty damn decent spots for Darnold to put up numbers, right? Uh, and also, next up, number four, TJ. MF and Hawkinson. So Hawkinson back at practice. Will he be back this week? Will he be back against the Rams? Will he be back against the Colts? Who knows? Who cares? All right. But he will be back. And I mean, Darnold hasn't thrown a pass to Hawkinson as of yet. And you just wait uh, until this offense has just a, a gorgeous over the middle, up the seams, uh, top three tight end. He's not three target and Hawkinson. All of a sudden, uh, Sammy Darnold's got himself a, a safety valve, which would be great. No more revenge game narratives. Now, it's human nature, right? And it felt like Darnold and O'Connell were pushing the envelope just a little bit. They're trying to force things downfield when it wasn't there because the Jets' defense is good and they were holding and it was wet and everything, right? So that's out of the way. 
all of this, hey, I got to prove it to the Jets team, even though Darnold and O'Connell said all the right things. But overall, I mean, Darnold could easily be bitter that the Jets didn't give him a chance, which is fair, as well as O'Connell. That's basically where his uh, playing career went to die. All right, so uh, getting past that emotional game, so it certainly does factor in, and now it's they're just games, right? Uh, six, Kevin O'Connell will adjust and adapt, uh, and yeah, the the second half of the uh, of the Jets as well as the Packers game leaves something to be desired. But O'Connell is morphing into one of the best offensive play callers in the game. Need to work on third and fourth and short, uh, and also uh, making adjustments for the second half, keeping your foot on the gas. But overall, like it, it's just like. Uh, Darnold having some more experience, like that chemistry, that trust will continue to grow and show throughout the season. Seven, now you know that Aaron Jones needs to be on a pitch count, and it's something that was in the back of my mind, and we said it a bunch, where Jones has never been a bell cow, and also he has had a history of injury. So now I, I think you know that you know, maybe you top him out at 20 touches a game, if that, right? So having him fresh later in the season and later in games will uh, be very uh, important for Darnold in this offense. Eight, Reisner returning at right guard. And I understand that the Ed Ingram experiment is still ongoing, but just the eyeball test, like it's not there. I mean, he's good in the run game, but you can't pass protect. And uh, I understand that Reisner is like the flip-flop. He could pass protect last year, run blocking not so much, but no one was run blocking last year. So hopefully uh, with the, the, the new emphasis on running the ball, uh, Reisner will be able to do that as well as uh, be solid at right guard and pass protection. Uh, nine, the trade deadline, Quasey bringing in some nice nice, whether it's interior offensive line, whether it's another running back, whether it's whatever, uh, help could be on the Wii. Uh, and lastly, 10, he's Sam freaking Darnold. So he's a number three overall pick in the draft for a reason. We've seen him play the best ball of his career with the Vikings. And uh, it's almost like we're, we're spoiled little kids. Daddy, I want it now. No, screw you, Veruca Salt. Hey, Darnold is playing like an MVP. I'm sorry that he had a tough game in a foreign country in the rain against one of the best defenses in the league. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry that he had a slow second half against the Packers, but I know one thing for sure. When the game was on the line in the second half against the Packers and the Jets, Sam Darnold sacked things up, led the team down to a field goal when they needed it, right? Oh, it's not a touchdown. Don't care. Don't don't care. I, I know for a fact, and we've seen it with our own two eyes, squinting, that Darnold, oh, he put up big numbers. He's so good. Yes, and he will indeed get back to that. So Darnold, blank stare, dead eyes like a doll. That's what we're doing, man. So we are going back to the. And I I know this is Zeus, but can we, can we make this like Thor or something like that? I don't know. I don't know, man. But your thoughts are thoughts. Tan. Tan reasons why Sling and Sam Darnold will resume his MVP pace. Let us know your thoughts. Our thoughts. Comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Want to support the work? Put a little something in the bed mode. But next time, Skull Production Value.